Okay, now we uh, have a report on the supermarket committee. Uh, we expected Leah Tota, uh, who is the chairman, but she uh, can't make it. We have two members right here, and um, hopefully they will make the presentation. Yeah, it turned out that there are many meetings happening this evening, including the Greenway District zoning meeting, and none of the long-time leaders of the supermarket committee could be here this evening. Victor and I are relatively new to the committee. We've only been involved for a couple of years now. Others have been trying to get a supermarket into this area for 15 years. Uh, we do have a couple of things we can report. First of all, there is no solid plan yet to bring an affordable neighborhood and affordable supermarket into the neighborhoods of North End, West End, and Beacon Hill. The, there's no signed lease agreement, there's no commitment by a supermarket, nothing like that yet. So on one hand, nothing's changed. Uh, but we can report a couple of things. And there's a mix of good news and, and not so good news. One is that the BRA recently issued on June 28th to the developer of what's called One Canal. That's the project that will be built in the large vacant plot right behind the Grand Canal, adjacent to Haymarket Station, just north of Haymarket Station, right behind the Grand Canal restaurant. That's a huge space that will become 370, is it? I forget, it's in my ZLC report, the number of apartments. There'll be retail on the first floor that must be designed for supermarket use. So that's the good news, that that first floor retail space, which is only a little bit more than 20,000 square feet, must be designed for supermarket use. That doesn't mean that it must be used at, uh, or will be used for supermarket space, unfortunately. Uh, Is that many square feet? About 20, I think I have 23,000 or so in the ZLC report. I should have put 21,300 square feet, which is a fairly small supermarket, but it's still a supermarket. And this is, you may know what's called the Bullfinch Triangle. They're building a large apartment building there now next to the Avenir building, which was built a few years ago. Next to the building that's going up now will be another building similar in size to the two that are there. Uh, and then the fourth building is what I'm referring to now, which sort of caps those three buildings closer to Haymarket Station, right behind the, the Grand Canal restaurant. So, um, so that's so far the good news, uh, and or kind of good news. Let me read a couple of things in this cooperation agreement. By the way, a cooperation agreement is really a contract between the BRA and a developer. And in the contract, it basically says that the developer is allowed to do what it wants to do, but it must abide by certain commitments. And one of those commitments has to do with the, uh, with the supermarket. On page one, it mentions 324 rent residential units, up to 21 of which will be affordable to households earning up to 70% of the area median income. Approximately 21,300 square feet of ground floor retail space which will be designed to accommodate an urban grocery store slash supermarket. So that's the requirement to design it as super, supermarket space. Further into the agreement is the, the language that potentially lets the developer off the hook. And that language is a uh, supermarket commitment. The applicant shall build out the approximately 21,300 square feet of the retail area on the ground floor of the project as designed for supermarket use. The applicant shall diligently market the retail space to urban grocery stores, supermarket operators. This commitment shall remain until A, another grocery store or supermarket 
of at least 20,000 square feet opens in the area somewhere else within the downtown north, uh, north station area or the north end or the west end. So if another supermarket opens up, the, uh, the developer at One Canal, Trinity Financial, is off the hook. B, the Trinity Financial developer is off the hook completely 18 months after the certificate of occupancy is issued by the city to the project. So, for the time period that the developer is building the project, and for 18 months after getting the certificate of occupancy, the developer must work diligently to bring a supermarket into that first sure. floor space. After the 18 months, completely off the hook. And I think we all know that 18 months is not a very long time to fill retail space on the first floors of some of these large development projects. Consider Strata. How many years has that space been empty? And consider much of the Avenir space is still empty. So uh, that's where that stands with respect to whether or not there'll be a supermarket at one canal. Originally, there was a commitment that there'd be a supermarket there. And I personally believe that the BRA and City Hall has let the developer off the hook. And at the same time, there is the possibility that a supermarket may open up somewhere else. And that would be the Boston Garden Project in front of the existing Boston Garden along Causeway Street. And Victor, you attended a meeting recently at the Downtown North Association? Yes. Um, yes, through the uh, generosity of the Downtown North Association, which is the business uh, association, business group in the West End, uh, I attend their, uh, their monthly meetings. And uh, on the agenda of the June 26th meeting was plans for redevelopment of the former Boston Garden site. Uh, one of the speakers to that uh, subject was a certain Brian Koop, K-O-O-P of Boston Properties. He had prepared remarks, but he said, I am going to uh, jump uh, to uh, the supermarket issue uh, and, and address this first um, because my two daughters who live in the North End both texted me today saying, we must have a supermarket in the North End. So, um, are the two Coop ladies here today? Uh, if they are, uh, please identify yourselves. Uh, if not, can someone find them and uh, <laughs> encourage them to join the supermarket committee and put pressure on their body? <laughs> But the statements made by him at the meeting? Were you? Well, that he would, of course, um, uh, recognize the pressure being put on him by his daughters and do everything he could to see a supermarket uh, in a project. Okay. I've, I've been told by the executive director of the Downtown North Association, Bob O'Brien, that the developer of Boston Garden Project, Boston Properties, has stated that it is in negotiations with at least Stop and Shop to move in there. Earlier there was talk of negotiations with Target to move in there. Uh, so apparently there is some effort currently on the part of the developer of the Boston Yard Project to bring a supermarket to that site. But there is no requirement and no commitment at this time. So. Okay, do we have any questions? Just uh, a definitional question. What, what exactly is a quote-unquote affordable neighborhood supermarket? Is it any supermarket? Is it everyone but Whole Foods? I mean, what, how, do you, how do you define that? Could Target qualify as a neighborhood supermarket? It could certainly qualify as affordable, because I think that's really a question. But, but whether it qualifies as a supermarket or not, well, Target well, is changing, and it does have different kinds of uh, businesses in different locations, some that are more supermarket than that. But I think you're, you're right that the line is drawn somewhere under Whole Foods, but there is no specific list of establishments. Shaw's Market qualifies, certainly Market Basket does, 
Roach Beauvoir is on, I mean, uh, Roach Beauvoir, sorry. Roach Brothers. Terrible food there. <laughs> Roach Brothers, uh, I think, is on the uh, cusp. And they're going to supposedly moving into the, with, with I mean, it's used to be into that complex there. Uh, but yeah, there is no specific definition or any list. I mean, could, could Target qualify if that goes in there? Could a deep six, the supermarket, in the York parcel, because it half sells, happens to sell some food, sort of like one of these liquor stores that gets a free license, and then all of a sudden it's a liquor store. Yeah. Bought it, it's food store the only way I can answer that is to say that members of the committee have voiced concern with Target, and also with similar stores like Walmart, for instance. So yes, there is a concern that that would not provide the full range of, of offerings of a supermarket. Anybody else? Okay, thank you, gentlemen.